Shabbat Shalom! In the fifth Aliyah of Ekev, we see God's scientific law of cause and effect put into action. In cause and effect, actions bring reactions. God and His people have a special relationship. Adonai's actions cause Israel's reactions, and Israel's actions cause Adonai's reactions. Let's look at an example. I'm outside on a hot summer day eating an ice cream. But what's happening to my ice cream? It's melting. Oh no, what should I do? Should, should I eat it faster? Should I get a bowl and a spoon? <laughs> should I throw it away? <laughs> That's not happening. Let's think. Something is causing the ice cream to melt. What could be causing the ice cream to melt? The sun, of course. It's hot today. The sun is causing the ice cream to melt. The ice cream melting is causing me to eat it faster. But if I don't want to eat it faster, if I want to enjoy it, what can I do? Since it is the sun that is causing it to melt fast, I can take it out of the sun. I can take it inside. I could even put it back in the freezer. My action will cause the ice cream's melting to slow down and I'll be able to enjoy it more. So what kinds of causes and effects can we see between Adonai and his people in the fifth Aliyah of Ekev? Adonai requires of Israel to fear God, walk in all his ways, love him, serve him with their heart and soul, and keep his commandments. Why should they do all this? Because Adonai is the owner of all, the creator of all, and he has chosen his people. Adonai's action in creating and choosing his people bring Israel's reactions of loving and serving him. Adonai is God. He is the cause. The effect on Israel is a circumcised heart and doing justice to the widow, orphan, and outsider. When Israel loves God and keeps his commandments, that's a cause. The effect is that God will make them strong and give them the land. The prophet Isaiah shows this special cause and effect relationship. In Isaiah chapter 49, verses 15, 25, and 26, Adonai says, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands. I will oppose your adversary. I will save your children. I, Adonai, am your savior and redeemer. And in Hebrews 11, we see the cause and effect of Abraham and Sarah trusting Adonai. Their trust is a cause that effected salvation even though Yeshua hadn't been born yet. When we trust in Adonai through Yeshua the Messiah as our Savior and Redeemer, He saves us too. So the cause, He saves us. The effect, we follow Him. Salvation is the action. Following Him is the reaction. Do you want to be in this special relationship with Adonai too? You can. Trust in Yeshua as your Savior and Redeemer and follow Him. Shabbat Shalom.